disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking, eradicating. A lot of research on it. And according to all the research, it was way worse than that. I came over here. I was, oh God, I was in my, my uh, mid-twenties. Right. The first time I read. Hi there. Welcome to Relax Brew. In this present reality, where the strong frequently employ their impact in the shadows, disclosures of concealment and hushing can send shockwaves through society. One such disclosure comes from the perplexing entertainer and producer Mel Gibson, who as of late revealed insight into his hushed encounters with respect to the famous Jeffrey Epstein case. In a genuine and eyebrow-raising record, Gibson divulges a disturbing story of how he, in the same way as other others, confronted the concealment of his voice while talking about a continuous issue. Clutch your seats, people, since there's an unimaginable story you want to hear. You will have a hard time believing who got messed up in a tremendous embarrassment. How about we let the cat out of the bag on what Mel Gibson needed to say? I needed to leave. Also, in light of the fact that I realized that I would have rather not worked with him, definitely, and he was getting startling. Mel Gibson has forever been vocal about shouting out disputable themes. A couple of months prior, a film named Sound of Opportunity, this movie packs a strong message, coordinated by Alejandro Monteverde and featuring Jim Caviezel, Mira Sorvino, and Bill Camp. It features the dull and disturbing issue of youngster dealing, uncovering how blameless children are in grave peril on account of malicious grown-ups. You'd figure a film with such a significant message could be all around the title, correct? Indeed, reconsider. The fact of the matter is a remarkable inverse. There's a stunning absence of media consideration causing a stir. The elites in the background are giving their best to stay quiet about this film. Why, you inquire? Since it uncovered some off-putting business, they'd prefer to keep it stowed away. Sound of Opportunity depends on the genuine story of Tim Ballard, a previous specialist for the branch of country security. He's determined to battle kid double-dealing in his established activity Underground Railroad with help from Glenn Beck. The film likewise conveys major areas of strength for a message, underscoring that God's youngsters are not available to be purchased. However, the situation starts to get interesting. Sound of Opportunity was at first under Disney, yet they suddenly reassess. Bewildering everybody. Allegedly, there's more going on than meets the eye. Some accept these stages and purposely overlook the film to safeguard the first-class figures calling the shots. Mel Gibson himself alluded to the presence of these industry elites way back in 1998, and presently, the pieces are beginning to get sorted out. The outrage encompassing sound of opportunity is only a hint of something larger. There's considerably more soil ready to be revealed about these supposed industry elites. Prepare to be stunned by what Mel Gibson has revealed about Hollywood's world-class stars, including Oprah Winfrey, and the disturbing lengths they'll go to take advantage of guiltless children. While Mel doesn't straightforwardly name Oprah in the film, the association between her and Harvey Weinstein is difficult to overlook. Most importantly, the claim of her being engaged in illegal exploitation by providing some assistance to Jeffrey Epstein could give some proof about why they needed to quiet the film. Presently, we should discuss Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein was a well-off American lender and sentenced sex-guilty party who acquired a reputation for his contribution in a high-profile criminal case, including sexual maltreatment and dealing with underage young ladies. Brought into the world on January 20, 1953, Epstein worked in the monetary business and oversaw speculations for well-off clients, including various powerful people from legislative issues, the scholarly community, and amusement. Epstein's crimes became known in 2000 when he faced charges of physically taking advantage of and dealing with underage young ladies. In 2008, he conceded to two state prostitution charges in Florida and got a merciful request bargain, which many scrutinized as being excessively permissive. He served 13 months in prison but was permitted to leave the office for work during the day. The case was broadly condemned, bringing up issues about the impact of abundance and power in the general set of laws. Throughout the long term, more claims and lawful activities arose against Epstein, prompting his capture in July 2019 on government charges of sex dealing with minors. His capture re-established public interest in his situation and the people related to him on ongoing occasions. Reports twirl via virtual entertainment, proposing that some huge name superstars and notable individuals like Ellen DeGeneres, Oprah Winfrey, The Doors family, and The Clintons are in profound legal difficulty. In any case, stand by. It's not a result of the pandemic that they're remaining at home. These posts guarantee they're detained at home for something as serious as young sex dealing. It resembles a genuine secret unfurling on the web. However, it's critical to move towards such cases suspiciously and look for dependable data prior to rushing to make judgment calls. 
a Facebook post that has earned an incredible 32,000 offers, said it's insane. Many individuals don't realize Oprah Winfrey is on house capture for sex-stealing kids, as well as Ellen Tom Hanks Clinton's. This rundown is long. In spring, Oprah Winfrey jumped onto Twitter to put any misinformation to rest. She believed everybody should realize that the web tales about her Florida home being struck by the police and her getting captured for sex dealing were misleading. I just got a call that my name is moving and I am being savaged for some dreadful phony thing. Winfrey tweeted, It's false. I haven't been struck or captured. Simply disinfecting and self-separating from the remainder of the world. There have been claims that the giver Bill Doors is attached to sex dealing, all due to gossip recommending he visited Jeffrey Epstein's island a few times. Be that as it may, as indicated by Reuters, despite the fact that Doors met Epstein, a more intensive gander at flight records showed he never really set foot on Epstein's island. In addition to this, you will have a hard time believing another name that has joined the contention. This man is a noticeable figure in Hollywood, and it is, in all honesty, Tom Hanks. In an odd trick, Tom Hanks was blamed for pedophilia since he requested that individuals wear covers. Presently, this is something extremely wild to make a trick about. Furthermore, during the worldwide pandemic, Tom Hanks, the American entertainer, has effectively beaten the COVID. His clear message from prior to that month, coordinated with the people who oppose wearing veils and following suggested pandemic measures, is nothing unexpected. During a virtual public interview, Hanks shared this remark. News sources, including Men's Wellbeing, reposted it on Facebook only this past week, he said. I don't get it. I basically don't get it. It is, in a real sense, the least you can do. I just don't get it. It is, in a real sense, a client. Underneath what the post remarked, I don't take counsel from men who go after young kids. That post set off a few rather uncommon remarks, with certain individuals blaming the incredible entertainer for nothing, not exactly being a pedophile. I'm not an enemy of Vale, but rather, I will not stand by listening to a continuous traveler on the Lolita Express to Jeffrey Epstein's island. Another client composed another client remarked, This is similar to Tom Hanks, who was on the island with Jeffrey Epstein and the little kids. Indeed, Tom, let us know what we ought to do, you scoundrel. The examinations uncovered that Jennifer Epstein set up a major activity for dealing with and mishandling young ladies and young ladies in the Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands Principal Legal Officer Denise George referenced during the claim against Epstein's replacements that even young ladies as young as 12 were casualties. It's very sure that Epstein was associated with awful violations with youngsters. Be that as it may, it's hazy where the allegations against Hanks come from or what proof backs them. Considerably more charming is that one of the people in question, Virginia Roberts Yefre, professed to have seen Bill Clinton on Epstein's confidential island, known as the Pedophile Island. This island was Epstein's hideout on Little Holy Person James in the Caribbean, as detailed by analytical writer Conchita Sarnoff on Fox News. Flight records recommend that Clinton flew on Epstein's personal luxury plane, frequently alluded to as the Lolita Express, a stunning multiple times. Then again, Epstein welcomed Donald Trump to a confidential party during the 1990s. At this party, there were various young ladies, a considerable number of whom were scarcely grown-ups. NBC even set a video free from that occasion last year showing Trump and Epstein talking and snickering while at the same time watching the young ladies dance. The associations and occasions encompassing Epstein's group of friends keep on bringing up issues and spellbinding public consideration. Reuters has confirmed this data in reality by actually looking at endeavors and effectively checking and countering disinformation on Facebook and Instagram. The flight logs from Epstein's scandalous personal luxury plane, which trick scholars are referring to, have to be sure been disclosed and can be found in computerized libraries like Scribd, where they were distributed among different spots by factcheck.org. In any case, it's critical to take note that there is no mention of Tom Hanks' name or initials anywhere in those flight logs, as announced by Reuters. In spite of the fact that it involves worry for the vast majority of the motion pictures, the strong Hollywood elite smothered the sound of opportunity. Many individuals accept that somebody is attempting to stifle the obscure dealings happening in Hollywood. It is important to double-check the data being circled via online entertainment, as the greater part of it is simply wild ideas and hypotheses. Nonetheless, the question of concern remains. While Mel Gibson is attempting to point out and indicate these issues in Hollywood, can he uncover everybody and figure out how to remain protected in Hollywood? Subscribe Relax Brew for more videos.